Intermittent fasting is a very great tool for weight loss. Apart from weight loss, it has many other clinical benefits which can keep you healthy. So, what is it? What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting means that you don't eat for a period of time in each day. In simple language, you have to do fasting systematically every day. Next question comes to our mind is how to do it. So there are many approaches to do intermittent fasting. This list gives you an idea about different approaches of doing intermittent fasting like 5 is to 2 hours fasting, alternate day fasting or daily time restricted fasting. Among all these approaches, the most popular one is 16 is to 8 hours intermittent fasting. So in this approach of doing intermittent fasting, we will be dividing 24 hours into two different window. One is 16 hours fasting window and the other one is 8 hours eating window. So we will do fasting for 16 hours and then we can eat during our eating window time which is next 8 hours. This is what actually we have to do every day. So what you can do is you can skip breakfast or meal. Let us set an example here. What we can do is we can skip breakfast and we can take our first meal during lunch time and then we can take dinner. It is good idea to skip snacking in between the meal. So after dinner, we won't be taking any food for next 16 hours. It is very important that you keep yourself hydrated during your fasting window. What you can do is you can take tea and coffee without milk and without sugar. Take water with little salt so that you get your minerals during your fasting hours. Intermittent fasting has several clinical benefits. Intermittent fasting is one of the scientific way to reduce obesity and correct the BMI. It lowers the blood pressure and cholesterol. It also helps to control diabetes. So question comes that how it works. When we eat food, which is most of our at least carbohydrates are breaking down into glucose. Glucose then gets transported to various organs and working muscles as a main source of energy to cope up with the requirement of external work that we do on every moment. Additional or excess glucose gets stored in the muscles and liver in the form of glycogen and in adipose tissue in the form of fat. While fasting, liver provides the required glucose to bloodstream by converting the glycogen to glucose. When glycogen gets depleted, body gets necessary energy from the adipose tissue by breaking the fat into free fatty acids, which is further gets converted into ketone. Ketone is another major source of energy for our body. While fasting for a very long time, like 16 hours, body starts getting necessary energy from fat by doing fat metabolism. As a result, we lose extra fat and eventually we lose weight. Fasting also reduces insulin level in the blood. This results low risk of diabetes. Now there are some do and don'ts. You can do fasting either on daytime or at night time. But it is always good to skip meal at night instead of daytime. During fasting, it is important to hydrate yourself. You can have tea or coffee without sugar and milk during your fasting window. Regular exercise can expedite the weight loss. During eating window, you can eat whatever you want, but avoid eating excessive food while breaking your fast. It is very important to have proper minerals. For these, you can have water intermittently and while having water, you can add a pinch of salt into it so that you get proper minerals. It is also very important to have fruits every day. It is better to choose the seasonal fruits. 
this is me. I have tried to set an example here. You can see me on the right side of the screen. I have reduced 20 kg body weight and became slim. Intermittent fasting is not for all. So it is very important that you consult your doctor first before you start doing it. Especially weak and aged person, pregnant lady and breastfeeding mothers should avoid doing this. Diabetic patients should consult doctors before starting intermittent fasting. If you have any question regarding the intermittent fasting, you can put your questions in the comment section. And I promise I'll read all of them one by one and try to make another video on the questions that comes to me. Thank you very much for watching.